Good Monday evening to you. Richard Scott here for the forecast update. We've got some clouds moving in tonight. Also a few showers on radar. Most of this hardly reaching the ground. A few light showers up around the Hamilton and Shotsville area in northwest Marion County. This is a slowly moving northeast, but the whole line itself is uh, moving east. So some of us will see a few brief showers tonight, but don't count on much rain at all. Again, live look from Brian Diddy Stadium in Tuscaloosa. We are looking west, and again, conditions are pretty quiet tonight. We'll zoom out and show you around downtown. Again, you're looking at the upper end zone of the stadium there, and it is all quiet here in the Tuscaloosa area. So far, no rain. I do expect the chance for rain tonight, but not very much. Many of us getting less than a tenth of an inch. Temperature 57 now in Tuscaloosa went out of the south at about 5. Here's reports across the board. Anderson down to 47 now. Hey, Demopolis made it up to 70 today. They currently have a clear sky. In terms of where we should be for this time of year, average highs 55, average lows 34. Record high 77, actual temperature today at 66. So right there in the middle between the average and the record today. It is certainly cooler in East Alabama. Can't tell where the clouds are right now. It's mid to upper 50s over the western side of the state. Skies are clear in East Alabama, allowing temperatures to be a bit cooler. Now, clouds will move eastward tonight, and all of us will see a mostly cloudy sky overnight. But tomorrow morning, sunshine returns. will be in the mid 40s at sunrise, and by midday, in the middle 50s. We'll top out near 60 tomorrow afternoon. We'll be a little cooler than today, but overall there's no really cold air with this system. We've got some below freezing temperatures back in the Rockies and the High Plains, but there's no overly cold air with this feature. So again, you see the showers on the radar. Those blow on through tonight and tomorrow morning you'll wake up dry weather moving back in. In fact, by 7, 8 o'clock we're in full sunshine. By Tomorrow night it will turn a bit cooler. We should be in the low 30s by Wednesday morning. But Wednesday afternoon we're back at the low to mid 60s. All right, the system we need to watch carefully coming in this weekend. We'll have some showers on Friday as a warm front moves north across our state. But Saturday looks like a chance for strong to severe thunderstorms, something we need to watch. Then Sunday dry weather temporarily moves in, but more rain possible by Monday. Again, for the weekend, Saturday's the day we're highlighting for the potential for some strong or severe thunderstorms. As we get closer to it, obviously, we'll be able to fine-tune more specific on what's going to happen. Uh, but again, right now, we need to watch it for the weekend. As always, you can get your information online on Facebook, Twitter, and our weather blog. Also, do want to mention, on Saturday, if we get a tornado warning in your area, we also go on TV Live, as well as on Facebook Live, WVUA 23 Facebook page, and the website. We stream live on there as well, WVUA23.com. Click the Watch Now option. We'll hop over to the 7-day, and again, tomorrow's going to be sunny. Wednesday will be sunny. Really nice day overall. Thursday back in the mid to upper 60s. And how about some 70s on Friday and Saturday? Showers on Friday. The risk of potentially some severe weather on Saturday. And we're not really going to see any cool air with the system. In fact, we'll be in the 60s on Sunday and on Monday. Rain returning on Monday.